There are five basic exercises for spiritual fitness. The Word of God says, exercise yourself toward godliness, for bodily exercise profits a little, but godliness is profitable for all things. Having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. Yes, we need to prepare ourselves because of the things to come. And in order to prepare ourselves for the things to come, we have to do some kind of exercise that when that time will come, we are ready to face it. And what is that time to come? It is possible first death or second the coming of the Lord. We need to be ready. And how are we going to get ready? To get ready is to exercise Godliness. Now, number one basic exercise for spiritual fitness is read the Word of God. The law of Jehovah is perfect. Converting the soul, the testimony of Jehovah is sure, making the wise simple. The precepts of Jehovah are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandments of Jehovah are pure, giving light to the eyes. The fear of Jehovah is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of Jehovah are pure and righteous altogether. More to be desired than gold, even much for even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. And your servant is warned by them. In keeping them, there is great reward. So there is great reward of doing this first exercise to godliness, which is what? Reading the word of God. Now, second basic exercise for a spiritual fitness is, is spend time in prayer. Since then we have a great high priest who had passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we do not have high priest who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in the all points tempted just as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Keep on praying. And how are we going to do it? Address it to our God Father in heaven and use our Lord Jesus Christ as our high priest to bring our prayers to our God Father in heaven. That's a good exercise. Sing praises. You know how to sing. You love how to sing. You don't only love to listen to singing, but you do love to sing. By him then let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is, the fruit of our lips confessing his name. He's speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Have you ever tried this to your friend? Sometimes Brother Efren does this to you. When he comes here and then he starts singing, that's for you. The fourth one is this, fellowship with brethren. Take it, brothers, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitful of sin. 
For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. How often do we exhort one another? Daily. Suddenly, you say, Oh, you're not smiling. <laughs> Give it up. What's wrong? What's going on? Grace be with you. Give blessing to that person. There's a saying that you reap what you sow. Whatever you sow, you will reap it soon. You plant a seed of rice, you will harvest rice. You plant a seed of corn, you will harvest potato. No, it's not corn. That's right. If you plant goodness, you will reap and harvest goodness. If you plant a smile, you harvest a smile. If you give blessing, you receive blessing. Amen. Do good works. Do good works. Not do bad works, but do good works. This is a good exercise for godliness that in due time we are ready even when we were dead in sins has made us alive together with Christ by grace you are saved for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men teaching us that having denied ungodliness and worldly lust you should live discreetly righteously and godly in this present world looking for the blessed hope and the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself to us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify to himself a special people jealous of good work praising singing with the angels Sister Robin love to sing and she will be singing with the angels with their trumpet. And Sister Ruby will be there in front. Let's just praise the Lord. Standing, not sitting in a wheelchair. Because in heaven there will be no wheelchair. 